might possibly provide assistance. I know no, how Stone Cold hates doctors paperwork. Doctors say you have to rest. I am capable of multitasking. Just concentrate on getting better. Who knew getting hit by a car would prove ultimately boring? Okay, opinions needed. I may have spoken too soon. How do I look? Uh, it's different. Well, that's good, because it's for court. You look like ice lemonade on a hot summer's day. Oh, well, I'm disqualifying your opinion because you think I look good in anything. Now you, think suit and tie and then translate it to a woman. Or is that too difficult for you? You look fun. Do you really not understand the importance of my outfit today? I, I need to look honest, and I'm not sure I can pull that off, so I have to look somewhat conservative before I perjure myself on the stand. Unless... Spinelli could figure out a way to hack into the court records and take my name off the witness list. <laughs> well, what, what about this? Is this better? You're gonna make yourself crazy. It doesn't matter what you wear. That is wrong. People who don't know you, that would be the jury use visual cues to make judgments, more commonly known as a first impression. And don't let anyone tell you they don't count because sometimes you can't overcome them. But Max Meese is not only the fairest of them all, she is the wisest. Don't think you can flatter me out of being mad at you. Try, try to understand this. There are procedures that lawyers go through, okay? Both sides have to tell the other side what they're going to present in court, what witnesses they're going to call. There is a list. Your name is on that list. Scott Baldwin is not going to forget you because this guy right here can hack into the court records and delete your name. It doesn't work that way. Well... Fine, then I guess I'm doomed because Scott Baldwin is going to rip me apart on the stand and I'm going to get defensive and say something incriminating and then he's going to arrest me for accessory to murder and then that's, that's the end of the story, end of my fashion career. Keep thinking that way, you're going to make it happen. Um, may I possibly interject? The discord between my two favorite people is causing me great distress and compromising my recovery. Um, Stone Cold, I, I would ask of you as a personal favor to me to... Be a little more sympathetic with the troubled Maximista. And uh, of, of you, I would ask, well, two things, actually. A, that you um, are a little less disparaging in tone when speaking to Stone Cold. And, and, and B, to walk into that courtroom with confidence and a positive attitude. That, coupled with your incomparable beauty, will assure a successful outcome. You are so wonderful. I am? Yeah, Spinelli, you're my best friend, and I don't even have any words. Thank you. Hey, you look great. Uh, thank you. Is that baby all settled down? Yes, mother and child enjoyed a restful evening, undisturbed by Braxton Hicks. Whoever that is. Can I uh, borrow you for a consult later? Okay, I'll just uh, find you when I'm done. Great. Impressive. Huh? Well, not one word about marriage. I guess we should all take a lesson. I can see now how much pressure we've been putting on Robin. Yeah, I'd uh, like to believe I don't need a building to fall on my head to get the point. Robin doesn't want to marry me. And you're okay with that? No. I'm not, but if you want the truth, I think it's better that I just live down to Robin's expectations and let the chips fall where they may. I'm sorry, Spinelli, kissing you is breaking all of our rules. I'm not offended. I, I just wanted you to know, in case I don't get a chance to tell you, because I'd be in jail, how much you actually need to me. Please, don't worry. I, Maximista will not languish behind bars. And if, perchance, your fears do come true, Stone Cold and I will, will bring to bear all resources at our disposal to break you out, should it become necessary, which it won't. Thank you. Okay, rem remember what I said. Do not volunteer anything. You stick to the story. And if you start feeling like you have to lie, just say you don't remember. Isn't that, like, the same thing as a lie? I mean, what are the chances that I wouldn't remember something that happened that night? It's not every day you walk into the aftermath of a murder. Okay, Maxie, you kept a secret this long. You can handle court. And if you play this right, you can gain a jury's sympathy and you can make Baldwin look like the bully he is. Okay, well, I'm gonna try. Just wish me luck. Good luck. I wish you could be there, but that's just me being selfish. Take care of yourself, okay?
if that's the last time I see Maximista leaving a room without shackles on. Hey, I need a, I need a favor for Lulu. Sure, what can I do? Well, I, I made arrangements to get her out of the country with a new identity. Unfortunately, Scott Baldwin is determined to put her on the stand. If he does, and if he, if, if he catches wind of what I'm planning, I need a backup in place. And that's where I come in. Right. If you, if you can be prepared to get her to some sort of a rendezvous point, I think I can take it from there. Okay. Sure. Okay. You don't seem very, uh, don't seem very surprised. Not even a, what's the rush? You know, don't you? Yeah, I know. The barn shirt. There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have to ask you. What were you and Patrick talking about earlier one night when I walked away? Nothing. Nothing. So I'm just being paranoid. Just driving myself crazy, right? You want to talk about it? He's just been so great. He finally did the one thing that I've been asking him to do. Let up on the marriage proposal stuff, so... Why am I not happy about it? I yeah. wanted to talk to you uh, okay. uh, about the Barnes case. I agree with your assessment. Surgery is warranted. Yeah, you knowing the truth about the night Logan was killed explains a lot. Why you were at the police station when John and Lulu broke out, why you've been on the periphery of this all along, how'd you find out? I uh, had access to certain information. Lulu eventually uh, confirmed it. Damn, why, why didn't you come to me right okay. away? I, I couldn't. Well, if you put yourself in my place for a moment, if Emily had killed somebody in self-defense and the guilt was tearing her up inside, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, that? absolutely, but Lulu trusted me to keep her secret, and that's what I did, and, and I did everything I could for her. And for the record, that didn't include breaking her and Johnny out of jail. When, when they made a run for it, I was as surprised no, as anybody else. No, but if you'd have told me, I think I could have done something. Like what? I, 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 I well, proven that she acted in self-defense. See, the problem is Johnny destroyed all the evidence. He should have admitted well, that. It, it wouldn't have mattered because Baldwin was already mad at Lulu for assaulting Logan last winter. Now Logan's dead and Lulu's in the same room. Forget it. Baldwin is not going to be distracted from making her pay. Well, I guess we'll never know. Anyway, what's done is done. Can I can I count on you with this? Yeah, I'll make the arrangements, put them on standby. You, you let me know when you want to proceed. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Hey, do you mind if I vent for a second? No, of course not. Okay, it's probably going to sound completely irrational because it certainly does to me. Well, not to state the obvious, but most things about love aren't rational. So as I mentioned, Patrick gave me this very sweet speech about how he takes back his marriage proposal and how he accepts that marriage is not something that I want right now, apologizing for pressuring me. Good for him. And you saw him this morning. He was all business. So... Since I just got exactly what I've been asking for, I should be happy. Right? I mean, relieved. But in my usual perverse way, I'm just upset now because he doesn't want to marry me. There, I said it. This is all just hormones, right? What's making me so ridiculous and contrary, it'll all pass once the baby comes. I don't know, maybe you're just ambivalent to marriage. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, making a lifetime commitment to one person in a world that seems so transitory is a kind of a scary thing. I mean, what if it doesn't work out? Mm -hmm. Why make that big of an emotional risk if you're not absolutely sure? But you can't be absolutely sure about anything. That's my point exactly. Okay. Here's what I know for sure. I love Patrick. Patrick loves me. Enough to put his heart on the line and offer me his future. I mean, he's the one that's been brave with the situation. He's stepped up, and I haven't even met him halfway. I just keep dodging and weaving and acting like a silly little teenager. And you know what the worst part is? 
I think I really heard him. I know. Excuse me. I'm looking for Lulu. She's not in her room. Lulu's gone. What do you mean, gone? An assistant DA and a cop showed up with court order and took her away. 